Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible, back with another Xbox Game Pass Weekly Quest Guide. So, today within the Xbox Game Pass app, we've got a new quest for Conan Exiles. We're going to be working on this to gain 50 rewards points. We need to kill one enemy, and this is good through the 23rd of November. Like it says here on the quest card, there is a cloud version of this game available, so you can play it through the cloud. I'm playing it on my Series S. And this will probably take about five minutes or so to complete. Once you get the game started up, you'll just press B to skip over those initial announcements, go down to single player slash co-op, and you can start up a new game or continue with an existing game if you like. And I'm going to be pressing X to play in single player. And then as far as the difficulty, let's choose the Exiled Lands Civilized, which is the easy difficulty. So that'll make it easier to kill some of the enemies within this. So I'm going to skip over some of the load times and just jump right into it. We need to first choose on a new game whether we want a male or female character. So you can press left or right to select that and then press A. And then you can customize your character if you like. I chose to just go straight down to finalize character at the bottom and then I pressed A to get started. And then you can press B to skip that opening cutscene and we'll get right into it. So we're on the broken road. We're just gonna start running forward. You can press the left stick in to toggle the sprint. Now your character does have some stamina. It is the yellow bar at the upper left corner of the screen. So when that is depleted, then your screen will kind of go gray like this and your character will start slowing down quite a bit until his or her stamina builds back up. So we're going to just keep following the broken road. You can see these sort of slate stones on the ground in the sand, so just follow that path. And we're going to get to the first little interaction. There's this bat creature that's up in front of us. We can't actually kill the bat creature, but it's just kind of a spot that you run past when you're starting up a new game on Conan Exiles. So just keep sprinting as you can. As soon as your yellow bar fills back up, then you can click in the left stick again and start sprinting to get through here a little bit faster. Here's that bat creature I was talking about. Unfortunately, you can't destroy him. And from here, we can just move on forward. We're going to get to an area that has some enemies that we can kill, just some creatures that are up in this area. And if you do die during this, you'll just respawn right about here. So if you take too much damage, then you'll, you'll automatically respawn in that area. Just start going forward on the broken road again. And then when you start to see the palm trees over to the left, I would recommend heading in that direction. There are usually some enemies over here. You can also turn on your headset or your speakers so that you can hear the enemies. There are some kind of walking around in this area, so you should be able to either see or hear them as you get close to them. So just kind of investigate around and you should be able to find one or two. Definitely look for something small if you can. I ended up tackling one of the bigger turtle enemies here and fighting against him. I did not think I was going to live, but luckily only one was really attacking me for the most part. So I was actually able to survive here. So this is kind of surprising. But anyway, to use your attacks, you can use the right bumper. You can use your right trigger and then B to dodge, which I wasn't really doing very much dodging, but I still managed to survive anyway. Like I said, look for a smaller enemy than that if you can. I'll show another clip here of where I fought against a smaller enemy that was in this area. He was much more manageable. So this is actually the one where I get the quest unlock. I actually filmed this one first, but I showed the turtle because that showed a better path on how to get to this area. But anyway, regardless, once you're able to defeat one of the enemies, or more, it doesn't matter if you defeat more, you can obviously play this game as much as you want to and, and get into it and get interested in Conan Exiles. Looks pretty cool, but that is the quest completion. So we'll go ahead and hold down the Xbox button to turn that in and grab those 50 rewards points. So that's going to do it for today. We're going to have a guide coming out for Scarlet Nexus just a little bit later on, and then we'll have more punch card guides as those become available. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.